every time you hear about the conflict in Israel, there are these two words. Iron Dome. Iron Dome. Well, it's Iron Dome. The Iron Dome. Iron Dome. So what is Iron Dome? Is it Israel's super weapon or advanced defense technology? How does it work? Does it even exist? Hi, I'm Boris. I'm in Israel. If you want to know more about the life here, please make sure you subscribe to my channel so you don't miss a thing. Coverage of ongoing conflict in Israel has featured the recurring images like this. Missiles streaming across the sky and explode mid-air. These are the missiles of Israel's Iron Dome defense system. Iron Dome, or Kippad Barzel in Hebrew, is an outstanding mobile all-weather air defense system developed by Israel Aerospace Industries and Rafael Advanced Defense Systems. Five years ago, I even sent my CV to this company as they were looking for software and Engineers. Here's how the complex detection and interception system works. The system is powered by missile defense batteries, each containing three main components. These batteries can defend across short-range rocket and mortar attacks within almost 70 kilometers. They are also mobile, so they can move to where they are needed. A radar unit detects an incoming rocket and relays information about its speed and trajectory to the battery control center. The control center's computers calculate if the rocket rocket is going to hit populated areas. If yes, a missile is fired from the launcher. The missile destroys the incoming rocket by exploding near it. And of course, the system works really fast because at some areas people have just 10 seconds to run to the bomb shelter. So when you are sitting in the bomb shelter and hear this big boom, this is a good sign. That means that the Iron Dome does its job. It was declared operational and initially deployed and successfully intercepted the rocket's launch from Gaza for the first time in 2011 near Beersheba. Since that time, the Iron Dome has intercepted thousands of rockets. The intercepts are made at a cost of around $100,000 per interceptor. That's one of the reasons why taxes are so high in Israel. The Iron Dome is really expensive, but as you see, it's worth of every cent. And this is what happens when the rocket is not intercepted. Despite that Iron Dome is very strong and advanced technology, it still intercepts only 90% of the rockets. So even nowadays, there is still a probability of a direct hit. Just try to imagine how people lived here when there was no Iron Dome. So as you may understand, the Iron Dome is not a weapon. It's a defense technology that saves a lot of lives. This is actually the place where the rockets are coming from and some of them are even coming close to my house. So, as you may understand, the Iron Dome just defends the people here. It makes no damage to Gaza, Lebanon or any other country. Nowadays, it's being continuously improved every year, getting more precise. Also, it's deployed at sea on Navy Corvettes to protect Israel's offshore gas platforms. And there is even a plan to complement it with the Iron Beam that uses a laser to destroy hostile targets at range of up to 7 kilometers, which is too close for Iron Dome. Check out my next video where I explain what actually happens when the rockets are being fired at Israel and what you should do to survive the rocket attack. Everything from my own experience. If you enjoyed this video, hit the like button for the YouTube algorithm and see you soon.